Yes, <laughs> I believe a lot of us involved in the StarCraft community uh, just continually watch as much StarCraft as possible. For some reason, I can't look at my own tweets there. I was going to say I have tweeted about this as well. Feel free to retweet my tweet. There we go. Uh, Mini Bossy was the only person who had to retweet it. But thank you very much for letting your followers know that this tournament is live. We're going to get things started for the next match here momentarily. It is one-to-one -one between these two teams. Looks like... Colors Minigun. are changed. Yay! <laughs> Hooray! And the countdown has begun let me get the colors changed and we will be ready Powers to rock yeah. three seconds remain oh no bam citadel, clutch citadel of gaia is actually very similar to the twilight fortress game that we just watched the uh naturals are actually contained inside of that big base that they start in i mm -hmm. think yeah yeah, yeah, they yeah are. They and are. there's a destructible rock element actually instead of just having a shared ramp there's like a strange destructible rock yeah there you go that little three-way entryway but anyway the players again this is the third game in a best of three series this will determine who moves on in the lower bracket complexity minigun as the light blue protoss with his teammate destiny the pink zerg over on the other side we've got hack protect the orange zerg and his friend and teammate power the blue terran power oh, oh, right. power 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 tech pro here we go hack <laughs> power tech ho oh. Frack, thingy, <laughs> bobber. All right, so here we go. We have, uh, again, a ZP versus ZT. See what both these players, or both these teams end up doing here. Uh, that was a pretty effective strategy out of Destiny and Minigun last game around. I liked the quick and fester build out of Destiny. Um, but I think a lot of that was once again on Protech and Power. We have a pretty early pool going down for Protech, as a matter of fact, because they didn't go for that super, super aggressive strategy in the very beginning of the game. They let Minigun and Destiny sit back and do whatever build they wanted. And what is this? Two SEVs are being sent out now for Power as well. Hello, I think we're going to have some uh, proxy racks in addition to quick pool play. There we go. Racks number one is down. Two going to be started as soon as he has the economy to support that. Oh my goodness. And Destiny just droning up happily. Minigun just building a gateway as you'd normally see. Finally, a pool is going down there for Destiny at about 15. Uh, still no hatch, obviously, 2v2. You want to be a little bit more cautious when expanding, but uh, that pool's done now for Protech, and Destiny is not even halfway done, so he's going to get that first wave of lings probably over to Destiny's base right as his finishes. Those two proxy racks. Curious to see how effective those will be. They are in a pretty hidden location here. Citadel of Gaia is not a map that these guys have played very often since it is a brand new custom map used for this specific tournament, Prodigy Team Star League. And here we go. So Protec going to make his way down now. He has six lings already done. He has another two in production. He'll have another four or so here done in a second as well. Destiny did expand. So he has a hatchery down. He's going to be producing more drones i don't think okay there we go he has he does have four zerglings coming up at the moment uh minigun is going to have down a zealot i don't think that that alone is going to be able to stop this though there's already marines are being sent in and we're going to have a bunker here in a second this is going to be outstandingly powerful yeah, this is looking really bad already there's the artosis pylon actually it's not even an artosis pylon it's just the pylon. The first pylon yeah and oh man he is going to drill away with that scv the links do finish it off unpowered gateway means no more fighting units here for Minigun. This already looks really abysmal for Destiny and Minigun. Yep, absolutely. That poor Zealot is going to fall one point of health, and it goes down. And now there's a couple of wings left. They are going to try and go after the pylon, but this next pylon... There we go, it does power the next gateway. There's going to be some units popping up here in just a second. Minigun is forced to pull a lot of probes to deal with this, but it looks like... Oh no, the pylon goes down again. The gateway is too bad. <laughs> there's still one pylon left, but it's got that shortened range from the last patch, so not powering anything right now. There's more than enough Marines and Lynx here to do some uh, significant damage. Minigun doesn't even look like he knows what to do at this point. He cannot get over there to build another pylon. He does not really have the many probes to actually kill all of these forces either. Destiny did pull a bunch of drones, but he's down. Uh, no more Zerglings really left for Destiny either. He's making four right now. Minigun not actually doing anything. He's got a Zealot frozen in stasis and warp in mode. It'll never ever <laughs> arrive, and uh, it looks like, yeah, they're not going to relent. There's 10 more links and two more Marines in production for Team Power Tech. 
Yeah, uh, Destiny was able to equalize a little bit there, but I don't think he expected yet another follow-up of units, but like he said, they are not going to relent, and it is going to be very difficult for Minigun to come back against this. Uh, there is a Queen out, and that Queen is going to be able to tank some damage and actually do quite a bit of its own there, but if all the units decide to go after it, Destiny will lose that Queen. Uh, let's see. The oh, the Zealot will finish. Still coming out. Hey, there's a Zealot! Hooray! Yay, Zealot! <laughs> yes, exactly. And unfortunately, the Zealot's going to die. Probably. Yep, yep. Okay, so Mornlings are here. Protect still with 12 more in production. Two more barracks being built now for power. Obviously, this is a very significant build where uh, gas is not even needed, really, for the uh, Terran player at all. He can just keep spamming racks, keep spamming rings, and have that range advantage over anything that Minigun or Destiny can build right now. Okay, so we'll see what Destiny can do. He has a good number of links up, but there are a better number of links here for Protec. In addition, there's those Marines supporting as well. So let's see if he pulls the rest of his drones as well. Looks like he is just re reinforcing with as many links as he has. And to his credit, he does have an extra hatchery advantage. So... He has he supply will... blocks, though. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually pretty bad. Yeah, one Overlord, one stray Overlord was picked up by those Marines, and that basically sealed the deal. Now he's under supply, but uh, doesn't have any money. <laughs> and looks like Destiny has left the game! So that is going to be all Minigun GG. There we go. Protech and Power advancing in the BTSL. Power Tech still in the lower bracket. They managed to stave off defeat there. That was a very well-played game by Destiny and Minigun in Game 2 specifically. Twilight Fortress was a heck of a game. Uh, Power Tech, though, advancing. I believe they'll be facing Subsuns. Not 100% sure. I think they're the only ones left in the lower bracket, though, aren't they? 